Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what is the best VPN for torrenting coming this end of 2025. So in this video, we're going to go over a couple different metrics, how I identified the best VPN for torrenting. I don't know why my voice sounded like that, but excuse me. Anyways, guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tom Spark. I've been reviewing VPNs for nearly a decade now. Um, I've built VPNTierList.com. It's my brand new website, formerly VPN Tier List. I rate VPNs objectively by merit, not how much they pay me. I've been reviewing VPNs for approximately almost 5,000 hours. I calculated this by working around an hour a day reviewing VPNs for over 10 years, and that's how I got to that number. So I am 100% self-owned, like, unlike a lot of other channels here on YouTube, which have corporate investments or are actually owned by VPNs. My channel is none of that. I actually have a community ranking where you could submit your own review anytime you want for free to influence the community rankings. And that's my channel. So guys, before that, I'll be putting links for any VPNs mentioned in this video. Those links will be discounts. If you click on that link, it'll help support the channel. I'll get a small cutback. You'll get a couple extra months usually. So if you want to help support the channel, what I'm doing here, I really appreciate the support from you. But guys, as you know, there's no sponsorships here on the channel. All right, guys. So first up, what is the best VPN for torrenting? Well, if you're looking to torrent Linux ISOs, you're going to need a good VPN for torrenting and not all VPNs come equal. And what have I defined to be a good VPN for torrenting? Well, there's a number of criteria and I'll discuss that. I think the most important things are speed, security, and transparency. I think those are the most important things for torrenting when it comes to a VPN. You don't want to pick a VPN that's going to give away your logs. You don't want to pick a VPN that's going to have poor speeds or not even work for torrenting. And you don't want to pick a VPN that's not secure because if it's not secure, then it's not going to protect you very well for torrenting, is it? Now, just to be clear, guys, VPNs don't make you 100% anonymous. But when it comes to torrenting, if you pick a good VPN that doesn't collect logs, you're pretty much good to go. It's going to anonymize your IP and encrypt your internet traffic, so you're going to be able to torrent whatever you want. However, I do not condone or encourage any people using VPNs to download illegal content. I myself only download Linux ISOs, and if you better believe it, I have a thousand terabytes of Ubuntu on my computer. So guys, one of the first things I'm gonna be talking about when it comes to uh, what VPN I like, that's gonna be NordVPN, but why do I pick it as the best VPN for torrenting? Well, it's because like I said, one of the key things is transparency and NordVPN has gotten really good at transparency. They're one of the few VPNs that do no log audits every year by a third party, which ensures they're not collecting user information, selling to third parties or giving up your logs to people that care about you torrenting. So if you're looking for someone that has a no log audit to ensure it's not collecting logs, I think NordVPN is a good choice. They also use RAM only servers, which means they can't really store much information about you anyways before it's purged. So that's also a really good metric. Next up, we could talk about um, their transparency reports. NordVPN does do transparency reports. They reveal how many DMCAs they get and stuff like that. So as you could see here, they get tons, almost like millions of automated DMCA requests. And the fact that no one's ever heard about NordVPN giving away user information or logs just goes to show you how good they are with their transparency and not giving away logs. If there's around 2.4 million requests a year and there's not been one article made about them giving up logs on users torrenting, well, I think you're pretty much good to go. Not only that, but such a large amount that I feel like there is some safety and anonymity in numbers. So that's another interesting interesting idea. Next up, we could talk about security. And I do think NordVPN is nowadays one of the most secure VPN providers. Part of that is because they're such a big VPN, they could spend so much money on development. Outside of that, the, the bigger a company gets when it comes to VPNs and products, oftentimes the more secure if they're doing it right. And I think NordVPN is. One of the reasons is because they have a bug bounty program. They can't afford to pay hackers more. They can't afford to have this going all the time. And as you can see from the bug bounty reports, NordVPN pays really well. They get a lot of bounties paid, which means they're more secure overall. I think NordVPN probably has the best bug bounty program. So if you're a hacker looking to pen test a VPN and get paid for it, well, by all means, go give Nord a shot. Other VPNs out there don't pay as much don't pay at all and just don't generally have as active as a bug bounty program we can also talk about app updates and nordvpn is no slouch there either providing usually around two to three app updates a month when it comes to all platforms where some vpn providers haven't been updated for over a year 
So that's not as good for transparency or security in my opinion. And it just goes to show you that you're paying for a product that's actively developed. Next up, we can talk about kill switches and most VPNs do have these, but I thought it was worth the mention. When using a VPN provider, you could turn on something called a kill switch. Let me show you really quickly. So this is what Nord looks like, very easy to use, of course. You could go into the settings here, go to kill switch, and when you use a kill switch, it makes sure that if Nord gets disconnected or anything like that, it will make sure the application turns off or your network turns off as well. So it's a way to stay insured that your IP address never leaks. You can also set this up in QBitTorrent or anything like that. And I've made videos on how to set up QPIN BitTorrent directly with a binded network kind of thing. Um, I'll you can look up Thomas Spark reviews. Let's see. Let's just show you that video really quick. So guys, as you can see, I've made video many videos about it. This one is probably the easiest one to follow. How to torrent safely and honestly in Qubit Torrent 2025 tutorial. So check out that video. I show you how to bind it directly to Qubit Torrent. So you don't even act, use NordVPN's kill switch. You're actually using NordVPN's WireGuard adapter. So pretty much all it's very simple. All you do is go inside the Qubit Torrent application and you pretty much just bind it in the settings. Let me find that exact part where I do that. Uh, somewhere around here. Yeah. So you just go into the advanced section and then you're just going to go to network interface and bind it to Nord links. So the Qubit Torrent won't download anything unless Nord, NordVPN's WireGuard protocol is connected. Basically, it means like the way that VPN works with encryption. So it bind it there. You could do this with any VPN, but I just thought it was worth mentioning. All right, guys. Lastly, we could talk about speed. You don't want to use a VPN for torrenting if it doesn't have good speed. And I've done the work. I made an entire website that's not as updated anymore because I've been focusing on my VPN tierless.com project um, with the user reviews. But this project I made just a couple months ago in June, and I pretty much downloaded all the VPNs, ran them in individual Linux containers, and tested them pretty much for two entire months. People could run tests whenever they wanted. And what I found is that NordVPN had an 87% speed retention, ExpressVPN had an 82% speed to retention, and Surfstark had a 79% speed retention, meaning that NordVPN was the fastest from all the big VPNs, giving you the best speeds overall with the least decrease in speeds. So if you guys are interested, I have this blog on realvpnspeeds.com where I talked about all the work I went into making this system. Um, like I said, the website's a little buggy now. I need to do some updates to it. But eventually, if you stay on the website long enough, the speed test rankings will load. Uh, I just need to do some fine tuning here. Um, but anyways, guys, that's another metric is speeds. All right, guys, if you like this objective take on what it takes to make a good VPN for torrenting, let me know down in the comments down below. Click on my link for Nord to get some extra months and a good discount if you like this video. If not, screw you, and I'll see you again very soon.